Hello guys, welcome back to another Rise of Nations video. Today I'm going to be showcasing this macro I made for the game. It's not a tutorial today. Um, last time I did an actual showcase, or tutorial rather, it was on Brazil a few months ago. Uh, and I plan on making more tutorials in the future, but today I'm going to be showcasing this macro I've been working on for a couple months. Uh, it has some really cool features that you guys might enjoy, and I have it publicly available. Easy to download, easy to install, it's really, it's really good. And I think you might enjoy it. Um, just do note this only works on not uh, 1920 by 1080p resolution screens at the moment. Um, it doesn't work on any other resolutions as far as I know. But it does work if you're in full screen or windowed mode. So if I just swap to full screen right now, it, it's still going to work. So um, let's get started. Okay, guys. So uh, as you can see, I'm loaded to China right now. So my macro program, it uses auto hotkey. So it's just a simple GUI. And um, you see there's different buttons you can press. Um, and I'll show you what each of them do today. So if we click on automatic military groups, it automatically makes military groups. That's pretty useful if you start out. It's so annoying having to make them each game. And then you can, you can manually make generals and put them on the groups later. I just make them make the groups because the generals, they have different stats based on luck. It's basically a gamble, so I'm not going to make it automatically do that for you guys. So, but I will make it so you can at least have some ease of use whenever you play Rise of Nations. That's the whole point of the macro. And um, so what's neat about it is it can also delete groups that are previously made. See, you just deleted them. It, it automatically detects if there's groups that are made and it just deletes them. Sometimes it doesn't delete everything, uh, but usually it does. So, yeah, it's overall a pretty good feature. So we have automatic research rush. Um, as you can see, it just automates your researches everything. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty useful too if you're playing in a late server and you just want to quickly just get the research done automatically, not have to worry about it. It's a good, uh, I think it's a good feature to have in there. This one, I'm not going to show it just yet because I'm in China. This is Auto War Democracy. It's based off of what I used in my Brazil tutorial. I think you guys might be interested in that later. And then I have the China Auto Justify on Kazakhstan plus Taiwan. So, as you can see, it just auto justifies on both uh, Kazakhstan and Taiwan. There's also a built in update uh, feature, which you might be interested in. Um, whenever I push a new version out, it's on the Conqueror's Discord server. Um, but if you don't have to be in it, because I'll push updates without it, it's fine. But basically, it checks for an update on my GitHub. So you can see there's no updates available at this time. So it's all good. Um, but if there is an update, it'll automatically bring you to the GitHub uh, page with the raw text file of the macro itself. It'll automatically prompt the save and everything. So it's pretty much a good, um, it's an easy way to do updates that doesn't require a lot of work. Um, and then the view readme, it re it views the readme on the GitHub page. It's pretty cool. So yeah, and as you can see, I add some new features like every month or so. I'm about to add a new feature this month um, that'll help you build naval fleets. You might be interested in that. So I'm just gonna swap to India and I'll show you how the war democracy works. Okay, guys. So I'm in India right now. So I'm just gonna demonstrate how the auto war democracy would work. So first, it looks for your Tax Reform and Welfare Act policy. And then it automatically researches into political stability. And then set your taxation to high, your government spending to high, and research to minimum. And that's basically what I did in my Brazil game, if you guys have seen that tutorial. So, overall, I think it's a very effective feature. You guys might be interested in using it for your own india or brazil gameplay it also works on japan i didn't mention that in my previous tutorial so um i might actually do a tutorial on china next because i see a lot of idiot chinas out there but this was just a demonstration of my macro today um so 
I hope you guys uh, are interested in this. I'll leave a link to it in my description. Again, you need to have auto hotkey. So it's that there's a website. I'll also link the website. It's free to download. It's safe. Um, so I recommend trying this out. Telling me what you think in the comments. Have a great day, guys.